show you how to set the Wi-Fi mode to SSID. This is the step-by-step -step setting the Wi-Fi mode to SSID. Each of the Rebenton Wi-Fi modules can be renamed the SSID, which is a private your own uh, request name. This will allow you to rename your own Wi-Fi module, so you could easily define your own Wi-Fi module with your own Apple's device, iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. This will allow you also changing the SSID password. Go to Wi-Fi module setting. For the very first time adjust the setting, you will require to input the username, please type int admin. For this section, for more information, please check on the Wi-Fi menu. Also, please type in the default factory password 6000000. Click on OK. After success connect, please go to the wallet setting. Please select SSID. Now you can input your own preferred SSID name. Now simple will such as my prevent tongue. Please select the encoding technology is WEP64. Now you can input your own new password. Note, please make sure you don't lose your password to someone and keep it your new password in the same place. Your maximum new password is 10 digits. Now you can click to save. Now it's called a new setting. Now the new SSID name and password have been copied setting. Now the first step is turn off the Wi-Fi module by switch off the Reventon ESC power. Exit the Reventon apps from your iPod Touch. Now please go to your setting and go to Wi-Fi setting. Now you can see the new Wi-Fi setting network. You can show your new SSID in my Preventon. After click details, you can change from the DHCP to the static. Type in your IP address. For more information about IP address and subnet mask, please check on the Wi Fi menu. Back to the setting. Now you can see the new choice of the network and should be able to see your new rename Wi-Fi module. No, rename the new SSID name and password is the best way to protect other people go to your Wi-Fi and Apple devices. Once you change the new name of your Wi-Fi module SSID and password, other same Wi-Fi module or other Apple device will not able to log into your event on ESC and Wi-Fi module system. Now go the same step again, go to the Apple Touch, click on the event on apps, connect with the Wi-Fi modules, press connect. Now you can see a success setting and able to search your new Wi-Fi modules and press OK. Thank you very much to using Speed Passions.